what to do about nipple pain. Nipple pain is common, but it is not normal. The pain can be severe. Sometimes the nipples may even crack and bleed. Nipples that are damaged can also let in germs and lead to a breast infection. Painful nipples usually happen early in breastfeeding, especially when your baby is not deeply attached to your breast. This video will show how to recognize whether your baby is attached well, how to attach your baby more deeply, and steps you can take to quickly heal your nipples. First, prevent nipple pain by getting your baby to attach deeply in the first hours after birth. This will often result in good attachment. If your nipples are painful, check to see if there are signs of shallow attachment. Here, the baby's mouth is not wide open. She's sucking only on the nipple. The mother's fingers prevent her from taking more breast in her mouth and she's slipping off the breast. When you feel nipple pain, take your baby off your breast by placing your finger in a corner of your baby's mouth. Notice if the shape of your nipple is pointed. A nipple that has been pinched against the hard roof of a baby's mouth will appear pointed instead of round. The tongue action of the baby rubs on your nipple and pinches it against her hard palate. This leads to sore and damaged nipples. The key to comfortable breastfeeding is for your baby to attach deeply on your breast. Taking a big mouthful of breast positions your nipple further back in your baby's mouth. Here, your nipple will be comfortable. In contrast to the nipple in a shallow attachment, which is pinched against the hard roof of the mouth. Your baby will also get plenty of milk. Here's how to attach your baby more deeply. Hold your baby close to you, right against your body, facing your breast. Your baby's body should be straight. Position her nose across from your nipple. She will open her mouth when she smells milk. Wait patiently until her mouth opens very wide. Then move her quickly straight onto your breast. Gently compress your breast to get your milk flow started. Pulling your baby closer can also help deepen the attachment. See the signs that your baby is now better attached. She has taken a big mouthful of breast instead of only the nipple in her almost closed mouth. Her chin is deep in your breast instead of just touching. Your nipple is a normal shape now compared to the pointed shape when your baby was not well attached. This new way of attaching your baby may take time to learn, but it will make breastfeeding comfortable and your baby will get more milk. In addition to attaching your baby deeply, here are a few suggestions that can help you with nipple pain. First, you can hand express to bring your milk before putting your baby to your breast. Second, improve the attachment by pulling your baby in closer with your forearm. Third, do breast compressions. They can help your baby get more milk faster, which will shorten the feed. And last, breast milk is healing to the nipples. Let it dry on your nipples after feedings and keep them open to air. 
Sometimes nipples can be sore due to thrush. Check your baby's mouth for white patches on her inner cheeks. If you find thrush, see your health worker. Both you and your baby will need to be treated. If you are HIV infected, feed your baby only from your healthy breast, not from a nipple that is cracked or bleeding. You can express and discard milk from your damaged breast until your nipple heals. Your baby can then take both breasts again. Painful nipples heal very quickly when the baby is attached well. See your health worker if your pain continues. Remember, nipple pain is common, but it is not normal. Breastfeeding should be comfortable. Nipple pain can be prevented and treated by deep attachment. Position your baby so she takes a big mouthful of your breast, not just your nipple.